Hey, I'm the Basement Engineer, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this Bluetooth speaker. We'll do some sound tests and show you a little bit about how I built it and how it works. I've wanted to build a Bluetooth speaker for a while, but I've never really felt I've had the time or resources to do it. So about a year ago, I bought this speaker, it's a JBL Charge 3. It's a great little speaker in its own right, but I've just always wanted to build one. So about six months ago, I moved to another school where they have a CNC plasma cutter, a CNC router, and a 3D printer. And I thought, why not use all three to create the best Bluetooth speaker that I possibly can? To simplify the design a bit, I decided to just go with a single button approach on the speaker body itself. That one button controls power and everything else that you want to do can just be done from your phone over Bluetooth or through the auxiliary port in the back. This speaker features three 3D printed parts, around nine different CNC tool paths, and about 30 different files. I would say about 60% of the work came just from designing and getting it to work right on the CNC. This speaker does packet punch. It comes in at two channels of 15 watt output each, compared to the JBL speaker that I have that outputs two by 10 watts and it has a decent battery life. It cannot compete with the JBL in that aspect, but it does hold its own. And I know what you guys want now is a sound test, so that's what we'll do. attempt to try to play bits and pieces of copyrighted songs but hopefully cut them short enough so that I don't get copyrighted on this video but I wanted to give you an idea of what actual decent music sounds like on this on this speaker hey, I was doing just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue So that whole drilled right there may look like a mistake, but in actuality there's a microphone inside of that hole. At one point or another this speaker was going to have the Alexa voice service inside of it by using a Raspberry Pi 3 as the computer for that. Um, unfortunately with everything else that I had to cram inside of here, and especially because of this massive 3 inch driver, I could not fit the Raspberry Pi inside of this. If I were to buy all the parts brand new for this speaker, it would cost more than a JBL Charge 3, and not to mention the amount of time that it would take to build one. So, for me personally, this project was worth it, but to another who would just like a loud Bluetooth speaker that sounds good, I would just go out and buy one. But I definitely feel like this was a project worth doing. If you think so as well, please check the links in the description. 
I made an instructable for this that goes into some pretty good detail on how I built it, including the 3D printing, the CNC cutting, and all the electronics that are inside of it. So please go over there to check that out. And this is one of my latest CNC projects. It's a simple phone amplifier. You put your phone in there and it redirects the sound from the speakers. Um, you can look for this in a future project video. It's a fairly simple CNC project that anybody can do. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more awesome stuff. Thank <laughs> you.